ordinary class ang selling price 10 pesos para iba naman, no? Variable cost per unit, nga rin magkain. Okay, wow. Okay, six. Sana, so, sana lumabas sa isang to, no? Para kabisabi rin na. So, at a glance, you can see that the CN per unit is how much? Four. Okay. Kunyari, ang fixed cost, babagawin din na talaga to. Four thousand. And yun, at a glance, kung tatanungin ka, what is the break-even point in units, kahit walang calculator, ano answer? Ha? 1,000. Yung sasabi ko eh, because you know the formula by heart. No? Yung tipong, sa lahat ng formula sa MA, yes, siguro yung break-even talagang, kahit antok-antok ka. No? Biglang, formula break-even, fix cost over. Kaya yung sagutin. Okay. Kaya lang nabanggit ko na kanina, meron ako na encounter, hindi lang isang problem, na kahit na alam na alam mo yung formula, yung masasolve, you have to use algebra. No? May mga ganong cases. Kaya pagsagaan nyo itong discussion, again, napaka-elementary nito. Pasensya na, ha? Okay, pagka-algebra, ang gagamitin mo, algebraic approach, what is the first thing that you usually do? You represent the ano by a letter. Usually, x. Sige, style algebra tayo, no? So, let x be the break-even point in units. In other words, let x be the number of units that must be sold to break even. Now, after representing the unknown by x, what next? You try to find an equation where x is the unknown, and then solve for x. Anong equation yun? Doon natin pick up din sa kanina. At break even, okay, uh, profit equals zero. Sabi pa natin kanina, at break even, sales equals variable cost plus fixed cost. Sabi pa natin, at break even, fixed cost equals CM. Papakinabangan natin to. Halimbawa, okay, ang inahanap natin is sales in units that must be sold to break even. Ito ho ay sales. Okay? Kailangan daw yung equation may X. Ito ho may X. So, siguro, pwede na natin gamitin ito. No? Okay, so, pinagamitin natin, sales equals variable cost plus fixed cost. Paano na nga ulit pag-compute ng sales? What do you multiply? Units times selling price. Ang selling price natin ay 10. Ilang units po? Ilang yung units natin? Ha? Bumubulong 1,000. Mamiya pa yun. Yun yung sagot. Okay. Uh, hindi ba? Yung units to be sold, uh, to be sold, may represent by X. So itong X, ito ho yung units. Kaya, to compute sales, you multiply the selling price of 10, okay, multiply to x, so 10 times x. Ganda, ganda. Okay, 10 times x. Tama, na? Ayaw? Pero tama. Tama, kaya lang ayaw. Meron ganun eh, di ba? Tama, pero ayaw. Bakit? Eh, pangit eh. Okay, but pangit, ayaw. Okay. Um, Kasi there are different ways of expressing multiplication, di ba? Ito, x multiplication yan eh. Pero pwede rin asterisk, pwede rin dot. Di ba multiplication din? Ay mga dot com, dot px, multiplication yun eh. Pwede rin parenthesis, multiplication din. Pero pwede wala na lang. Wala na simple in between. Pwede pa? Oo, multiplication din yun eh. So kung maalisin ko na lang yung symbol, ganun. Yan ba? Multiplication? Hindi. Hindi. Magkalayo. Ibig sabihin, sa algebra, dalawang terms yan. Para maging multiplication, dapat magkatabi. Hmm. Sige, pagtabihin natin. So, magiging 10x. Ganun pala sa algebra. Pag nagkatabi, ibig sabihin, nagmumultiply. Okay, ngayon, tuloy na natin ito. No? Alam nyo, matindi interpretasyon nyo, no? Okay. Yung mga ganyan sa board exam, yan naman mga pumapas. Ay talagang nag-analyze, okay? Yung variable cost, again, how do you compute it? Parang sales lang? Units times variable cost per unit. And the variable cost per unit is 6. So this is 6x. Tapos, fixed cost. Magkano yung fixed cost? 4,000. Value 4,000x. Lahat sila may x, eh. 
אוקיי, לפני האקסט הבא? אני אדבר, אולי הדבר הזה לפני האקסט השעה, אוקיי. אוקיי, נאו, אתו מאקס, שם מאקס דן. מרבין מה תלך גם מאקס אל, נא? אוקיי, פגשמאי נתן להתה מאקס. אוקיי, בסופו של יום סומא מנרי, יום אחי בג'ל, תפוס. מוכו נא, גלן, נא. פגשמאי נתן להתה מאקס, פגשמאי נתן להתה מאקס. טרנספר פה דה אדר סייט, אתה יודע מה אתה אומר? טרנספור סייט זה טרנספור, טרנספריישון, אחי, טרנספוסיישון, יום פסיק דין מגיגים, נגטיב, so 10x מינוס 6x equals 4,000, אוקיי, איתום סי 10, שרה סי 6, כפרק נה סי x, so the distribute סי x, k10, שרה רי 6, אנו פרופרטי סמת יום? דיסטריביוטים. דיניסטריביוט, רבי אוכלו, דיניסטריביוט, סייקס, כי אתם, 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 equals 4,000. Now, ano ba hinahanap natin? Si X. Grabe, ano? X ka na hinahanap pa. Okay, um, dapat pag X na, forget. Uh, pero, ayun, nakita natin si X ito. Kaso may katabi siya. Grabe. Okay. <laughs> may katabi si X. Kasi siyempre, kahit pa paano ba, it's hurt. Okay. So, kailangan mawala yung katabi ni X. So, paano mawawala yung katabi ni X? Uh, i-divide mo siya by 10 minus 6. Pagka ginawa mo yun, nakakancel na to. So, ano na matitira? X na lang. So, X is equal to 4,000. Okay? Doon mo kasi yun. Ayaw. Ayaw. Bakit? Anong kulang? Dapat, divide mo rin to. Ibig mo sabihin, whatever you do on the left side, should also be done on the right side. Why? Why? Okay. Uh, whatever you do on the left side of the equation should also be done on the right side, uh, right side of the equation. Why? Pag ang tinanong mo, mathematician, ang sasabit sa'yo to maintain equality. Ayun okay? ang wordings nila. Pag ang tinanong mo, accountants, ang sasabit sa'yo para balance. Okay. Pag ang tinanong mo, hindi naman naiintindihan, sasabit sa'yo, basta. No, no, no. Okay, so... Divide mo rin to by 10 minus 6. So, mangyayari, x equals 4,000 over 10 minus 6. Uh, lagyan na natin ang pangalan. Ano yung 4,000? Fixed cost. yung fixed cost. So, ang numerator, fixed cost. Ano yung 10? Same. Selling price. Ano yung 6? Variable cost per unit. When you subtract, what's the result? C and per unit. Yan ho ang x, which is the what? Break-even point in units. Therefore, yung formula na master nyo, fixed cost over cent per unit, galing lang sa algebraic procedures. Okay. Ngayon, may mga problems, as I have said, na uh, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yung formula to. Pero when you use algebra, masosolve mo. Para nung nangyari before. Okay. ba diba, cent per unit, selling price minus variable cost per unit. Yung problem na sinasabi ko, dalawang klase ang variable cost niya. Yung isang variable cost niya, dependent on units. So, pwede mo ma-compute yung variable cost per unit. Yung isang variable cost niya, dependent on shipments. Okay? May variable cost siya, dependent on shipments. So, yung number of yung shipment naman, iba-ibang units. Minsan maraming units, minsan pwede yung units, sa kukuha po ba ninyo? So, dalawang klase yung variable cost. Variable cost per unit, tsaka variable cost per shipment. Na yung shipment, iba-ibang units. So, hindi mo pwede i-compute yung magkano per unit dito. Hindi mo pwede i-add yung dalawa para makuha, masubtract mo naman sa selling price to get sell per unit. Hindi mo gagawa yun. So, hindi mo may apply yung formula. Masosolve mo yung problem using algebra. Kaya ho natin pinag-usapan. May mga ganyan cases. Okay? Ngayon, pag may break-even point ka na in units, gusto mong gawin pesos, pwede namang uh, multiply mo na lang yung break-even point in units by selling price. Right? Pero, may formula rin doon eh, para sa break-even point in pesos. Ano na nga yun? 
fixed cost order what? CM ratio. CMR or CM ratio. Saan naman kaya galing itong formula ito? Okay. Actually, galing yan from the so-called common size income statement. Natatandaan niyo po ba yung common size income statement? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, yung mga pinakikita na figure, halimbawa, sales minus variable cost CM minus fixed cost profit, pangkaraniwan, di ba, pesos? Mm. Pagka common size statement, instead of pesos, ano po nakikita? Percentage. Ano po? Ano po? Percentage. Yung ganito? Ano ka ang ulit? <laughs> Percentage. Okay. Percentage. 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 Ah. Percentage. Hindi doon. Huwag sa per. Huwag sa per. Ha? Okay. Sa sen. Percentage. Percentage. Totoo yun. Totoo yun. Okay. Huwag sa percentage. Hindi ganun. Percentage. Percentage. At saka hindi siya page. Page. Okay. Pag nahihirapan, for sure to. Madali. Okay. Um, hindi nga, hindi nga. Plus, kahit i-check nyo. Kahit i-check nyo. Para sa office, nagre-report kayo, di ba? May presentation kayo. Ayos. Kaya lang sa office niyo ang mga presentation, hindi ganito. Dito, lukulukuhan lang yan. Ah. Okay, pero sa inyo, mga formal eh, di ba? Okay, anyway, percentage yan. Parang yung madalas tumarinig, ano, inventory. Ang dami ko narinig yan, inventory. Hindi yung inventory. Sa in, inventory. Inventory. <laughs> hindi na gumagana yung ulo. <laughs> So, all the, all the items on the income statement are, are expressed as percentages, okay? So, percent, 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 percent. Pero there must be a base, and that base is the 100%. What is it? Okay, so you express all the other items as percentages of sales. Ano yun? Ratio. Halimbawa, variable cost as a percentage of sales. Tatawagin natin siyang VCR, the variable cost ratio. And how do you compute it? It is the ratio of variable cost to sales, so VC over S. Ito naman yung CM, magiging CMR. And how do you compute it? CM over S. Kaya nga common base eh. Okay, common size. Isang base lang ho, sales lang. Okay, ito naman yung fixed cost, magiging fixed cost ratio. Formula, fixed cost over sales. Tagatama ba to? Is there such a thing as fixed cost ratio? Tanong po yun ulit. No? <laughs> is there such a thing as fixed cost ratio? No. Okay, medyo duda kayo eh, no? The answer is yes. Ito, okay. Meron talaga niyan. Siguro nagdadalawang isip kayo, pwede po yun sa fixed cost? Eh, constant kaya yung fixed cost? Hindi ko na wala pagka-constant niya. Yeah. Kinocute lang naman natin yung ratio niya eh. No? Okay. So, yung fixed cost mo, divide mo ba yung skills? Ito yung fixed cost ratio na yun. Okay, ang, ang totoo, may problem na lumawa sa board exam, hindi mo masosolve yung problem na yun kung hindi mo gagamitin yung fixed cost ratio. Pwede kumuha ng problem na gano'n eh. No? So, meron mo yan. Yung pagiging constant, totoo pa rin yun. Okay, when the problem is signed. Tapos, yung profit, gawin mo profit ratio, profit over sales. Ngayon, um, saan mo magagaling yung break-even formula. Bago yun. Ito, 100%. So, we can say that when variable cost is 60%, automatically, CMR will be what? 40%. When you add variable cost ratio and CM ratio, you get 100% or one whole. Sa math, may tawag sa ganun. How do you call those numbers which when you add together, you get one whole or 100%? Ano tawag sa mga ganun numbers? Letter C. Complementary numbers. Okay. Those are called complementary numbers. Again, how do you describe complementary numbers? Those are numbers which when you add together, you get one whole or 100%. Ano ang significance nun? Pag alam mo yung isa, automatic yung isa. Okay? Uh, sa ngayon, ano yung complementary numbers na nakita natin? CMR and BCR are complements. So, pag alam mo yung isa, automatic yung isa. As we continue discussing, hanggang matapos yung chapter na to, hanggang sa ibang chapter pa, no? may may encounter pa tayo ibang mga complementary numbers. At importante po yung mga yon, Kasi nga, minsan, ito given, paano mo masosol, kailangan mo yung kabila, 
Okay, eh, alam mo, compliments. Baku ba? Masusun mo. So, nag-umpisa tayo, no? As we continue, meron pang iba. So, sa ngayon, CMR and VCR are compliments. Kung baga, yung listahan natin naka-open ulit. Para bang yung listahan ng constant? Nung una, dalawa lang, naging tatlo, kompleto na yon. Ngayon naman, compliments. Okay? CMR and VCR. As we continue, magkakaroon pa yan. Anyway, um, saan ulit magkagaling ang formula ng break even? Dito ho. I-copy-paste natin to. CMR is equal to CM over S. Now, you must know how to play with your formula. No? Halimbawa, ganito. From here, I want to compute CM. Okay. What can I possibly do? CM times hindi, CM ang hinahanap. Sales times ah, okay. Ito, madalas yung gagawin to sa mga problems that you will solve in the future. So, yung CM, hindi lang siya sales minus variable cost. Hindi lang siya units times CM per unit. Pwede rin palang sales times CM arap. No? Okay, so CM, napataas. CM, na pwede units times CM. Ayun, hindi ko na plano yun. Pwede rin naman CM equals S minus BC. Okay. Pwede rin naman sales times CMR. Depende sa given. Okay. Plus, CM equals S minus BC. Pwede bang sabihin S equals CM plus BC? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, yung sales ang one whole. Yung S at BC, parts of one whole. So that when you add S and BC, you can get the whole S. Right? So, CM and BC are complements. So, hindi always 100%. Kaya sabi ko, one whole for 100%. CM and BC are complements. CMR and BCR are complements. Okay. Eh, halimbawa, from here, I want to compute my S. What should I do? CM over CMR. Hmm. Okay. Eh, halimbawa, meron naman akong CMR. Okay. Kailangan ko CM, pag di-divide ko, makukuha ko yung sales na 100%. Halimbawa, I do not have my CM in pesos. Pero, I have fixed cost and I have profit. Can I compute CM? Work outward. What do you do? Add. So, therefore, pwede po bang S equals fixed cost plus profit over CMR? Yes. Because fixed cost plus profit is equal to CM. Plus, pakipansin nyo to. Pamilya. Hindi ba yan yung formula ng tinatawag yung sales in pesos with design profit? Ito mismo formula. Ito ito lang pala galing yan eh. Okay. So, sales in pesos sales in pesos with design profit is equal to fixed cost plus design profit over CMR. Ngayon, kung gusto mo, sales in units with desired profit, instead of CMR, anong gagamitin mo? Silver unit. So, yan lang panagaling yun. Okay. Babalikan natin ito. Kaya lang kasi ang issue natin ngayon, yung break-even. Pero meron tayong pag-usapan pa rito. Okay. Eh, class, what if profit equals zero? If profit is zero, mawawala ito. Ano na lang numerator mo? Fixed cost na lang. Okay. Ito bang fixed cost na to? Share yung CM when profit is zero? Yes. Doon tayo nag-umpisa. Okay. When profit is equal to zero, fixed cost equals CM. Okay. So when you divide the fixed cost by CM ratio, what do you get? Sales. Pero anong klaseng sales? Sales na yung profit zero. Anong tawag doon? Break-even. Okay. So the formula to compute for break-even sales in pesos <laughs> is fixed cost over CMR. <coughs> Sorry, no. Okay. So, kung i-compare natin yung dalawang formulas, no? Pareho namang fixed cost numerator, eh. Nagkakatalo lang yan sa denominator. Pagka in units per unit, pagka yung pesos ratio. Ngayon, balikan natin sa class, pasensya na, no? Fixed cost plus profit equals CM. Ano profit yon? Itong profit na to yun. At ito, putol to, eh. Bakit? Supposedly, may tax tayo. Pag minus mo, ang resulta, net profit. So therefore, itong profit na to, understood to be before tax. Kaya yung formula na sales with desired profit is equal to fixed cost plus desired profit over CMR, 
ito po ay before tax. Kasi working upward lang yan eh. Halimbawa, ang given net profit. Can you add net profit to fixed cost to get CM? No. Masyadong malayo yun. So what should you do? Convert mo muna si net profit to before tax. What do you need? The tax rate. Halimbawa, tax rate natin, 30%. Ilang percent ito? And what will you do? Divide. So therefore, pagka ho ang given ay net profit, divide mo muna siya by 1 minus the tax rate para maging before tax, para madami ko pa. So babantayan niyo problem. Minsan kasi hindi napapansin. Pre-tax profit is before tax ko. Okay. Uh, pag sabing net of tax profit, bagay literal yun. No? Ngayon sasabihin mo, eh bakit ho? 1 minus the tax rate pa. Di ba? 30% naman talaga yung tax rate. O di pa lagi na lang divide by 70%. Plus, ang subject nyo, MAS. Hindi taxation. Okay? Sa MAS to, kung ano given na tax rate, use it. Paano ho pag walang given na tax rate? Ano i-assume namin? Sige nga. Pag sa problem mo lang given na tax rate, anong tax rate gagamitin nyo? Ilang percent? Okay, tam? Ganito ho yun. Pag MAS, pag walang given na tax rate, wala. Walang assumption. Walang ganda. Problem is not even 30%. Walang ganun. Okay. Um, hindi nga, totoo po yun. No? Kasi MAS to, hindi taxation. Hindi ka tinetest dito kung alam mo tax rate. Sa taxation kayo tinetest doon. Dito ho, hindi. So, kung ano given, gamitin. Pag walang given, wala. Puro before tax na nalang. Pero nalang, pag may clue. Paano pag may clue? Okay, may lumabas na natin sa board exam. Hindi yung nagbigay ng tax rate, pero may isang sentence ang sabi, the company pays the prevailing corporate tax rate. Pagka sinabing ganun, no, the company pays the prevailing corporate tax rate, ano gagamitin nyo? Kung ano yung prevailing. Kaya nga maganda yung problem na yun, kasi kahit anong panahon pa ibigay yun, updated pala akin. Diba? Ano ba ba? Pinigay yun nung panahon pa ni Atty. De La Cruz. No? Eh, tagal na nun. Ha? Pero hanggang ngayon sa panahon natin, pwede pa rin yung problem na Kasi nga, the prevailing corporate tax rate. Pero pag walang ganung clue, at wala namang tutugag, walang binigay, wala. Ngayon, halimbawa, sabi ng problem, the tax rate is 80%. Gagamitin mo? Yes, kasi yun ang given. Kahit habang nagsosol ka ang sama-sama ng loob mo, grabe yung BI ang talaga. <laughs> okay. uh, basta isol mo kasi yun ang given. Okay? Kung ano given. Kaya ang formula, 1 minus the tax rate. Kasi kung ano yung tax rate? Hindi always 30% yan. May mga problems, 40%, 50%, whatever is needed. Okay? So, nagdaanan natin pa paano pati yung design profit, formula ng break-even. Siguro, pwede tayong bago maghiwalay eh. Pag-sold ng kapraso, ano? Tapos, para sa next meeting, pamilyar na tayo. Kailan ba next meeting natin? Next year na, ano? Okay. Gusto nyo ba? Kasi, tuloy din natin ito sa next year. Dahil, kay, dahil hindi ba tatapos ng entry, number one? Matagal itong number one. Mga two hours pa. So, hindi <laughs> nga. Kasi ang daming topic siya niya. Kaya ganyan sana natin. Tapos sa next meeting class, pasensya, sa umpisa, i-replay ko ito. Yung, uh, yung umpisa ng discussion, para, yung, yung problem, para may continuity ng flow of thought. Okay, uh, the company, number one, makes a special mouse for computers. Each mouse sells for 25. So what is that? Selling price. And annual production and sales are 120,000 units. Markahan niyo po, production and sales. Ano gusto kong ipakita dyan? Pag pinamarkahan ko, 120,000 units ang production, 120,000 units ang sales. Okay? In other words, in this case, production is equal to sales. When production is equal to sales, what happens to your inventory? Increase or decrease? No change. That is one simplifying assumption in break-even analysis. Okay? Ina-assume natin sa break-even analysis that change in inventories is negligible. Okay? Change in inventory is negligible. Hindi natin sinabing in break-even analysis, there is no inventory. Wala tayong sinabing ganun. Ano yung negligible? Yung change. When production is equal to sales, there is no change in inventory. 
Pero posible ba, when production is equal to sales, meron pa rin inventory? Yes. Kung yung beginning niya, 10,000, nag-produce siya ng 120, edi 130 available for sale, nagbenta ng 120, ilan ang ending? 10 pa rin. Beginning and ending equal, no change. So possibly, may inventory. Pasensya na, makulit, no? Uh, production equal sales, no change in inventory. Hindi sinabi, there is no inventory. Okay? So that is one underlying assumption. Kasi ho, sabi ko nga, ang break-even analysis, tatakot-takot na assumptions, ginagawa natin din eh, to simplify yung constant na taplo kasama sa assumptions sa break-even analysis. Kaya man nagkaroon ng linearity of data assumption eh. Hanggat constant yung selling price, ang, line mo ng, ang sales line mo is straight line. Hanggat constant ang variable cost per unit, yung variable cost line straight line. Okay, tuloy pa po natin. So 120,000. Cost for each mouse are as follows. Materials, labor, variable overhead, variable selling. Total is 12. Plus, matanong ko po, di ba selling price 25? Ang variable cost per unit 12, kasama na pati selling, magkano po ang CM per unit? 13. Okay. Pakinote lang po yun. Kung ang CM per unit ay 13, ano po ang CM ratio? 13 over 25. 52%? 52%. Okay. Taas, ano? Maganda yung CM ratio niya. CM ratio ba yun? 52%? Okay. Plus, huwag yun ang computein. Bawal ang calculator. Kung ang CM ratio, CMR, 52%, ano ang BCR? No? 48%. Wow. Okay. Kung, bakit yung nasabi yun? Complementary numbers. Okay. Kung ang CMR ay 52%, ano naman ang PBR? <laughs> Itang guitar action yan. Um, <laughs> pag nandito kasi sa hat, pag nandito lang kasi, kita mo bang klase? O kita kita pati yung nakagalang. Okay. Um, PBR. PBR is Profit Volume Ratio. Profit Volume Ratio. Profit Volume Ratio is another term for CMR. Please remember that. Huh? Okay, PBR equals CMR. Profit Volume Ratio equals CM Ratio. Kaya po 52% ang CMR, ang PBR po ay 52%. Nangyari niyan before, sa problem, walang given na CMR, ang naibigay PBR, hindi alam ng iba kung ano yun. Hindi daw solvable yung problem. Bonus daw. Okay. <laughs> Anong naging bonus? Given na nga. Fix, ang fixed cost po, ay total fixed overhead pala, 589,550. Yun lang ang given. Yung selling variable, walang binigay na fixed selling. Walang fixed selling, walang fixed administrative. Ang lahat dito lang fixed overhead. Plus, pagkasahin natin ang sarili natin dyan. No, sabihin ko, kung walang given, wala. Ha? Okay. Uh, yun ang sabi ng problem. Letter A, calculate the unit contribution margin in pesos. Napag-usapan na po, 13. And the contribution margin ratio, napag-usapan na po, 52%. Letter B, determine the break-even point in number of miles. At takot-takot na ligat ito. No? Um, ano po sagot niyo? 45,000. I'm sorry? 45,350. Wala akong sagot eh, kaya natatanong sa inyo. Okay, 45,350. 45? Sakto? On the right of nyo. Sakto? Uh, 45,350 units. Ganun. Halimbawa, ang naging sagot, kunyari lang to ha, kunyari lang, naging sagot, 45,350, 8.67 units. Ano yung sasagot nyo? 45,350? 9. 9. 8. 9. 9. 45,350? 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. Uh, plus, break-even point, no profit, no loss. Ito yung talagang break-even point. Yung 45359, higher than the break-even point. May profit to. 
Sasabihin mo, punti lang, may profit to. <laughs> Dapat wala. Kaya ito ho yung recruitment point. O sige, ano magiging reaction mo dyan? Eh, hey, sino kaya bibili ng 0.6 to 7 units? Okay, don't worry, hindi ko binibenta to. <laughs> hindi ito ang pangarap ng sales. Napabahan niyo ako? Hindi naman binibenta to eh. Pinaalam lang natin yan para maging guide. Yan hindi yan ang sales natin. Ang sales natin dapat above the break even. Pag ang tinatanong sales, i-round off mo, sige, to the nearest unit, wala namang bibili ng 0.67 talaga. Pero break even, hindi ito binibenta natin. Ang well, totoo yung sasabi mo, 0.67, ngayon rin binibenta mo, kotse. Diba? Pag hindi nga ng kotse, 0.67 lang. Okay, two times lang. Oh, hindi ganun. Okay, sales unit, round off mo. Pero pag break even in units, ito mas accurate kaysa dito. May profit ito. Okay? Pero na lang, pagka wala sa choices yung sakto, nag-round off, makibagay ka. Ganun ang exam. Read the mind of the examiner. Halimbawa, ni-round off na examiner. Maki-round off ka na rin. Baka mami, ah, ni-round off niya. Hindi ko sasagutin ito. Talo ka. Talo ka, no? Okay, makipagay ka sa examiner. Examine ka eh. Ganun po yun. Well, importante, alam natin kung ano yung totoo. Kung ano yung tama. Na? Okay, so, 40, ano yung? 45, 3, 50. Yan, 45, 3, 50. Yun yung in units. Letter C, pasensya na ha, napaka-basic, napaka-elementary. Alam ko, nainis na kayo. Kasi may nisip nyo, haba-haba ng binyahe ko. Ito lang pinag-usapan namin, no? Pero plus, um, ma-appreciate natin yan pag nag-exam. Um, anyway, calculate the peso break-even point using the contribution margin ratio. Bakit sinabi pa yun? Kasi may break-even point in units ka na eh. Pwede mo nang multiply na lang yun ang selling price. Times 25 lang yan eh. Pero pinapagamit ratio para magamit natin yung formula. Okay. Sige nga po, bali 589550 over 52%. Tapos po answer? Ah, magkano po? 1,100 pesos. Okay, so correct. <laughs> Ayan, letter D. How many mice must the company sell if it decides to earn 996450 in before tax profit? So, as is lang yan, before tax lang yan eh. So, anong ginawa nyo? Inal niyo yung 589550 na fixed cost, tsaka fixed uh, profit na 996450, yung result din ni Baidu by 13. Okay, and you got the figure. Oh, sige po. Units yan, ha? Mm. Units. Yung sa'yo ng peso, baka makalimutan. Kung so, nilagyan nga yata, units na yun. Okay. <laughs> Letter E. If the company wants to earn 657800 after tax, and is subject to a 20% tax rate. Oh. Sorry, class. O, kagaya nito, ang tax rate na given, 20%, gamitin nyo niya. O, no, paano given? Baka sasabihin mo, ay, mali, bonus to. Hindi ho. Uh, so, yung 657,800, dinibay nyo by what? 80%. Okay? Tapos, siya ka mo in-net sa fixed cost na 589,550. Yung result, siya mo dinibay by 13%. Uh, hindi ko na siya nasabi yung final answer kasi sigurado naman pare-pare ako kayo kinagulator nyo yan eh, no? okay now letter F how much peso sales must be generated to earn before tax profit of 203,450 paano naman ginawa nyo rito yung fixed cost of 589,550 plus 203,450 yun lang mismo no? tapos divided by what 52% Okay, letter G. If the company wants to earn 242515, ito naman after tax, then it is subject to a 30% tax rate. O ngayon naman, 30%. How much should pesos sales be? So ano ginawa nyo? Yung 242515, this time, didibay nyo by what? Yun, 70%. Kung ano man ang naging result, kinag mo sa fixed cost, tapos didibay mo by what? 52%. Okay. So you'll get the figure. Now your letter H. How many units would the company need to sell to break even if its fixed cost increased by seven eight six five plus your preposition na by chaka yung two. Babantayan niyo na iba yung increase two kasi increase by. 
Sa so, bagay ito, imposible naman maging increase to 7865, no? Okay, so, uh, plus, ang punto lang dito, nagbago yung isang profit factor. Ano yung profit factor na yun? Fixed cost. Pagka ba nagbago fixed cost, pati break-even point, will it change? Yes. Okay. And uh, nag-increase ang uh, fixed cost. Numerator yun. So, what happened to your break-even? Did it increase or decrease? Increase. Okay. Uh, paano ginawa nyo? Bali, yung 5895.50 plus 7865. Ganun lang po yun. Hindi design profit yun, ha? Increase in fixed cost yun. Divided by 13. Nag-increase. So, hindi. Pag naman nag-increase ang break-even point, good news ba yun? Pwede mo sabihin, oh, good news. Pag-increase break-even point po. Ganun? Hindi mo nakakatuwa yun. Bakit? Ang break-even, gusto mong ma-reach, tapos ma-exceed. Hindi mo siya ma-exceed hanggang hindi mo siya na-reach. Ngayon, natural, mas mababa ang break-even, madaling ma-reach. So, ano pwede natin maging conclusion? Pwede bang sabihin, dinower the break-even point na better? The answer is yes. Totoo po yun. Conclusion ulit, hindi lahat ng malaki okay. Meron din maliit na okay. Mm-hmm. Ang itin nyo yan eh. Okay, sa example, break event. The lower, the better. Pero pag nag-change pala profit factor, ano? Like fixed cost, mababago break event. Nagdagal ko na nga. Pag nag-change sa selling price, will break event change? Yes, no? Pag nag-increase sa selling price, what will happen to break even point in doing this? Increase selling price. Break even pa din units. Aha. Pag ini-imagine, delikado. Pinakamaganda, so lang po form nila. Okay. Break even point in units equals uh, fixed cost over sell per unit. Sell per unit is equal to selling price minus variable cost per unit. Kaya sa, problem, sa question na yan, nag-increase ang fixed cost break-even point increase. Natural, kasi yung numerator nag-increase. Hello? Okay, so halimbawa, selling price ang mag increase What will happen to sell per unit? Increase. What will happen to break-even point? Decrease. Good. So maganda nakikita. Pag sa exam, ganyan ang tanong, isulat yung formula, tsaka mo sa term. Huwag mong imagine yun. Dako kung ano-ano ba imagine mo, no? Okay, halimbawa po, yung variable cost per unit nag-increase. What happens to sell per unit? Up, down. Down. What happens to break-even point? Up. Up. Kung uh, denominator bumabay. So, tataas. Halimbawa naman, units increase. Okay, units increase. What happens to break-even point in units? Up, down. No change. Very good. Bakit to no change? Wala yung units sa formula. So, conclusion. Okay. Sa mga profit factors, pag units ang nagbago, no change sa break-even point. Pag ang nagbago, saving price, variable cost per unit, fixed cost, may change sa break-even point. Kasi nasa formula. So pag hindi ka sure sa sagot mo, sulat mo formula para sigurado yung sagot. Nakakuha po natin. Okay. Um, what else? Anong letter tayo? Letter, nag letter X na tayo eh, no? Okay. The company, number letter I, has received an offer to provide a one-time sale of 4,000 miles to a network of computer superstores. This sale would not affect other sales or their costs, but the variable cost of the additional units will increase by 0.6 for shipping and fixed cost will increase by 18,000. The selling price for each unit in this order would be 20. Plus, uh, ito ho ay special order. Okay, ginagamit natin mga profit factors, may mga changes. Tapos, ang tanong, based on quantitative measurement, should the company accept this offer? So, ano ho ito? Decision making. Okay, so, ang punto lang, hindi ko muna bibigay ang answer nito, no? Diyan tayo mag-start next meeting. Pero ang punto lang ho, yung mga dinidiscuss natin, hindi hanggang sa pagkocompute lang may pupuntahan for planning purposes, ano pa, for decision-making purposes. 
Pag maliwan pa sila mo yung information, mali posisyon ka. Good continuous.